C4DM is a research centre in the university. It's part of the School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science. Today, what we're doing is celebrating C4DM's 20th anniversary. One of the really exciting things about doing research in the Centre for Digital Music is that we work at the intersection of music, technology, acoustics and psychology, and we build new, innovative bridges across research and creativity. Some of the favourite memories were when we took out a drum kit to Cheltenham Arts Festival and we just had school kids come and they just went crazy on these drums. To be honest, they didn't really know what was happening and nor did we. They, they just had a wild time. My time at C4DM was instrumental in shaping my career. One of my favourite memories of C4DM is um, the jam sessions. More than any research output, I'm especially proud of some of the tools I helped develop during my time at C4DM, like the web audio evaluation tool and the open multitrack testbed. My time at C4DM absolutely shaped my career going forward. There would have been no forward career if I had not been at C4DM to start with. I'm currently a staff engineer at Spotify. I'm supporting many collaborations between ByteStance and C4DM, so many students can come to the industry to get more experience. It was a great opportunity for, for me to have the support to build all of the research that I was doing and to work with a bunch of great people. The piece of work that I'm most proud of being involved in, I would say it was the collective effort of annotating the entire Beatles back catalogue. I'm grateful for the skills and knowledge that I acquired during my time there, which have been invaluable to my current work. I'm highly influenced by what I learned during the MAD PhD program. One of the ways that C4DM has helped shape my career is that it laid the groundwork for me to have a job in the UK. I think it never would have occurred to me to look for a job abroad if I hadn't already studied abroad and done my PhD here. I would say it taught me everything that I know about the scientific reporting process, and it's still work that I use every day. There's nobody in our field in, in the world that hasn't heard of C4DM or doesn't aspire to come here as a visitor. The best part of C4DM is surely the people. One of the qualities of this uh, research team is to be able to attract uh, and train um, very talented people. Many of them are friends of mine now, uh, collaborators and some even clients. The whole department just invested in the people. And so we got to go see theatre and dance and art exhibitions and I think those trips together with all the different students and colleagues are, are one of my uh, kind of favourite things that, that happened. Working at C4DM facilitated meeting so many interesting people. Uh, both on campus and traveling the world. Yes, we got married uh, in the end of our PhD in um, uh, 2019, and now we're both uh, living and working in Norway. During my time at C4DM, I had an excellent opportunity to build a productive network with researchers from different parts of the world. I really enjoyed hosting the Independent Component Analysis Conference in 2007. It was really fantastic. One of the really nice things about C4DM is a sense of community. And the thing that I really found most stimulating was learning about other people's stuff at the same time as uh, getting into my own stuff. I regularly have the sense that I learn as least as much from the students as they do from me. It's a really inspiring environment to be a part of. What I enjoy the most was the inspiring discussions with my supervisors and colleagues on a wide range of topics, especially research and music. I think my favourite memory of, of being at C4DM is, is really just the time that I got to spend with the other researchers. It's been really delightful to watch the many directions and career paths that everyone has taken. So I also play digital music in a telematic band with former C4DM people. So we're all located in different countries and we get together and play online and perform at conferences. Every now and then I see Jack Radcliffe, which is also in the entrepreneurial side of life. So when I left Queen Mary, I actually formed a small company with, a, with a, a Dr. Becky Stewart. I've kept in touch with many of my students, and some of my PhD students now have their own PhD students, which is quite a remarkable thing, really. I was very lucky to be one of the Cephalidium family, and of course, I will always be. So I'm particularly proud and happy and it's a great memory I have uh, from that uh, system. 
I'm very proud to have been part of such a vibrant and dedicated community. How would I sum up my experience of C4DM in one word? Fantastic. I would say inspiring. Challenging, um, but in the best sense. Eye-opening. Opportunity. Vibrant. Fantastic. I look forward to staying for quite a while. Transformative. Fun interesting. Uh, this is fun and interesting, but I had to choose one word. Fantastic. Eye-opening. That would be inspiration. Stimulating. I would describe C4DM as rock stars. Marks. Both of them. Life-changing. Thanks, C4DM.